In this video, we are going to walk through how to create assignments in Savvis Realize. First, you'll need to log into your district account so you can access Clever in the upper left corner through BGPS bookmarks. Choose Clever Login and then click on the Savvis Easy Bridge card. And it will open up the Easy Bridge option. And you can either open up your Savvis Realize platform by clicking on the textbook associated with your class on the left side or by clicking Savvis Realize under Learning Systems on the right. Both will automatically log you in and bring you to your main homepage here with your dashboard for your classes and your programs on the right. Um, you can click on Assignments to see the assignments for each class and we'll see upcoming assignments once we do assign those. To assign in the platform, you'll need to click on your program on the right side and it will fully open all of the content that you have available. And you can scroll through and find assignments and activities that you would like to share with your students. Ones that are available um, that are student facing will have an assign button underneath them. To assign it, all you have to do is click on the assign button and it will bring up this pop-up window. You can edit the title of the assignment, set a start date and a due date, and then add any instructions that you would like to be included for your students. You have this small box to include um, some brief instructions for your students. You can also set a start and end time for your assignment. So if you would like to set um, the exact time that it posts for your students and the exact time that it is due, you can select that checkbox and set those times. Then you'll need to select your class from the drop down in the um, upper right. You can also select groups or individual students for differentiation and then click assign in the lower right corner and it will post to your class depending on the start and time that you have set. So then you can scroll through and we can click on a full lesson. So we, you can individually assign um, activities with that assign button. You can also assign an entire uh, lesson or group of activities by clicking select all in the upper left corner. And you'll see that clicked all of the check boxes down um, the left column and you can click assign all in the upper right. And that will assign the entire group under that lesson for your students so they'll just work their way through all of the activities that are part of that lesson. Same um, process here of selecting your start date and due date, um, any instructions for your students. There's also um, an option for most of the assignments in Savvis to automatically assign remediation and enrichment activities based on how your students do um, in that lesson. So you can turn that on and off in that lower corner. So now we've assigned that whole group of activities under the lesson. We can click on assignments for our class and see all of the assignments that we have now added. And if we click on that lesson 1-1 uh, one, one, and open it up, it will show all of the different um, activities under that uh, lesson that students will be able to uh, work through and complete in the different um, areas for that lesson. So that is one option um, in addition to assigning individual activities with the assign button and then you can assign the entire lesson by selecting all. You can also assign groups of activities um, without having to assign all of them. So here we are in lesson one, two, and you can either go through and select um, multiple activities by clicking on the check boxes, or you can select them all and then unselect or deselect the check boxes that you no longer want your students to um, uh, work through. So we are gonna go through and um, uncheck the extra practice and the additional examples. So for this lesson, I just want my students to complete the lesson and the assessment. I don't want them to have to do any of the extra practice. So I'm going to uncheck those boxes and create a personalized version of this lesson for my students. And then I can scroll back up to the top 
and uh, in the top right, instead of assign all, it will say assign selected. So the options that I chose for my students will be grouped together in this overall lesson. I'll be able to set my start and due date just like normal, and I'll have the option for remediation and enrichment activities to be assigned automatically by Savas. So now I've created that assignment, and again, it will um, live in that class. I'll be able to see it um, on my dashboard as well as in that class when I open it up and in that upper right corner if I click on the assignments button. So that is how you assign um, in Savvis by clicking on programs and either selecting multiple um, activities or assigning one by one to your students with the assign button.